Welcome all the learners to the uh, program of School of Law, the patent uh, uh, practice, the certificate program. Uh, this program, the primary objective is to develop some knowledge, awareness and special skills about understanding the patent and how to read and analyze the patents. Essentially, this program tries to develop some basic skills among the lawyers, supporting professionals, scientists about the patent advocacy. Uh, today, we will discuss about uh, the reading of the patent, the essential uh, uh, steps in reading of the patent. We have with us uh, Mr. Parmar, uh, who is the Deputy Controller of the Patent Office and Government of India. He is a uh, scientist of a, um, uh, a well-experienced uh, in the patent uh, field in India. We are happy he has accepted our invitation and came over to explain about this. Uh, as we have seen with the growth in the development of science and technology, the uh, knowledge and awareness about patent is also increasing. But even then, there is a lot of gap which is existing where uh, this program is trying to uh, build that gap and to develop some patent advocacy knowledge and information in India. Uh, as we have seen, uh, the one of the major uh, area is development of the science and technology where new innovations are coming up. But how these new innovations needs to be translated into the practice so that monopoly rights can be claimed, commercialization can happen, it can prevent others from using this knowledge. So for these areas, what is required is the patent needs to be filed. So, and after that, the patent office will look at what is the criteria, whether it is satisfies uh, the law procedure which is existing in India and when they will grant the patent. But here, uh, what is an essential element which is required is how do we understand the patent? So, this is a major challenge and today this video lecture, uh, we would like to look at about what are the essential steps in reading of the patent. So, I thank uh, Dr. Parmar for accepting our invitation and coming over here and sparing his valuable time and to discuss with our learners about the essential elements of reading of the patent. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. Uh, we look forward uh, to your uh, discussion and interaction about the patent advocacy and the essential elements of reading of patents. Thank you very much. Today, we are just going to understand what exactly a patent document is and why reading it is so essential for the people who are concerned, who really want to do something relating to inventions and who want to either protect the invention or they want to file a infringement proceedings against others or they want to draft a patent specification or they are interested only to do research on the basis of the documents which are available. Reading of a patent document is not only a technical subject matter. We have technical professionals who are doing R&D. They only read this document to understand and to know the contents. They have to take patent themselves. so They must know what exactly are the earlier patents. So they read this document to know whether such inventions are already in existence or not. If they are, what is the difference they have done, done. Or an applicant of a patent, if he is there, he also need to read a document to know how he has to draft it. We have to just understand that it is not a simple summary of his invention. It has a technological effect to it. So the person must know what exactly and how the invention is to be written and how it is to be read before we write it. So we have to read those things before we prosecute our applications. We must know the ins and outs and the fringes, what exactly patent office is looking for when we draft our specification. So it helps the inventor to understand when he, draft, he writes his application. So reading is important from him. For a patent agent or attorney again, for drafting purpose, when we, he is drafting for others. Because the inventor who is a person who is not in a position to draft his patent himself, he takes help of the attorney. So attorney definitely look for those kind of uh, drafting skills. Those who are very new to this, this field, they require 
this uh, this kind of a reading so that they can uh, they can imbibe those kind of skills to draft it better for a better protection and a person who is infringer suppose as he has somebody has filed a case of infringement against him so he has to understand the understand the intricacies of the patent document which has been given to him by the uh, by the court that this is the patent which you are infringing he has to understand the uh, width of the claim and what has been claimed and why he has been prosecuted for the infringement so he must know this why the infringement is there and if it is not infringement then he has he can defend himself better way examiner of course is a right is a person who is the he has to read every patent application which has been filed to him to know the extent of the disclosure and the scope of claims here it is important for him because applications are coming to him every new invention is filed in the office and he has to examine it with reference to the applications which are already granted in the office which patents have been granted so here one thing is very important the patent document as such is coming every day and there are millions of those documents millions of these numbers it has to be now find out which patent we are looking for which invention and we have to classify those inventions in a better way so best way is to standardize the patent document as such so we we normally have a standards by which we standardize all the countries does the same so we standardize the patent document in a format where it is possible for any person whether he is a expert or he is not expert to find out a document so it is important 